Okay, so this is the Leaving Certificate Higher Level Maths Paper 1, 2022, question 2. So in part A here we have g of x, which is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. x is real. Find the integral of g of x with respect to x. Now this is an indefinite integral, so we need to remember to put in the c at the end of this. So let's see, we've got, um, got to find the integral of 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 dx. So you take the 2x squared, increase the power by 1 and divide by the power. Take the 5x, so increase the power by 1, which is 2, divide by 2. And then after the 6, there's an x to the power of 0, if you like. So we're going to put in an x to the power of 1 and divide by 1. And then don't forget to add the c as well at the end, the constant of integration. Okay, so that's really it for part A. Let's have a look at part B. Uh, okay, so we have a diagram that shows the graph of function ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b, and c are integers. Three regions on the diagram are marked k, l, and n. Each of these regions is bounded by the x-axis, the graph of f of x, and two vertical lines. Uh, the area of region K is 538 square units. Use integration to show this thing here is equal to 807. So presumably then, if we're given this area here, if we integrate between zero and two, we should end up with this equation down here. So let's do the integration and see what happens. So remember our function is ax squared plus bx plus c. So let me just start that integration. Okay, so we have we want to find the integral from 0 to 2 of ax squared plus bx plus c with respect to x, and we know that that area is 538 uh, square units. So let's do that integration then. Now, uh, again, we do the same as what we did earlier. So we increase the power by 1. So we've got ax cubed over 3 plus bx squared over 2 plus cx. Now, because this is a definite integral this time, we don't have to put in the uh, constant of integration. So we remember we're integrating between 0 and 2. And we know when we do that, we get 538. So this is kind of handy here because we have a zero here. So if we put zero in here, here, and here, all of this will just become zero. So really we just have to concentrate on the two here. So we get a times two cubed over three plus b times two squared over two plus c times two. Now normally what we would do is this kind of thing here, we would subtract and then you would put zero in here, here, and here. But I'm not going to do that because I know that I'm just going to end up with zero. I'm going to be subtracting zero, in other words. So let's just work this out. We know that that's going to be equal to 538. So let's work this out. We've got two twos, four to four is eight over three. A plus two twos are four divided by two, which is two B plus two C is equal to 538. Now we've got to show that uh, 4a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 807. So presumably if we multiply across here by 3, uh, we should end up, and then divide by 2 in fact, we should end up with that. So if we multiply across by 3 first, we get 8a plus 6b plus 6c is equal to 538 times 3 is 1614, I think, 1614. Okay, so now we just divide across by 2, so we get 4a, 3b, 3c, and then if we divide by 2 here, we got 8, 0, 7. And I think that's, I think that's it actually, isn't it? Uh, let me just double check. 4, 3, 3, 8, 0, 7. 4, 3, 3, 8, 0, 7. So that's it there. We've, we've shown that 4a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 8, 0, 7. Okay, so that's part 1 done. Let's have a look at... The last part here then, part two. So the areas of the three regions, K, L, and N, uh, give the following three equations, including the equation from part B1. So that's, that's uh, this one here that we've just looked at. 
So these are the other two regions here. Solve these equations to find the values of A, B, and C. Okay, so this is just solving simultaneous equations with three unknowns. We don't have to worry about integrations or anything like that. So let me just write these three down again, and we'll start. We have 4A plus 3B plus 3C is equal to 807. I'm going to call this equation number one. Um, we have 28A plus 9B plus 3C is equal to 879. I'm going to call this equation number two. Equation number three is 76A plus 15B plus 3C. That's equal to 663. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on the C's here. So I'm going to take equation one and two, and I'm going to subtract the C's. Then I'm going to take equation two and three, I'm going to subtract the C's. That should leave me with two equations with A and B in them. So let's take equation one first of all and multiply that by minus one. So that will give me minus four A, minus three B, minus three C, and on the right hand side minus 807. So if I write down equation 2 underneath that then, and we're going to subtract those two. So you've got 28a uh, plus 9b plus 3c is equal to 879. I'm going to add these two here. So 28 minus 4 is 24a. 3 minus 3 plus 9 is plus 6b. These two here cancel. And on this side here, we should end up with minus 807 plus 879, that's 72. 72. So this is equation number four. Okay, so that was these two equations here. So now I'm going to have a look at these two here. I put those two together and see what happens. So let's take equation, let's take equation two this time, multiply it by minus one. Equation 2 times minus 1 will give me, let's see, uh, minus 28a minus 9b minus 3c is equal to minus 879. I'm now going to take equation number 3, put that underneath and add those two equations. So equation 3 is 76a plus 15b plus 3c and that's equal to 663. I'm going to add these two equations now. So 76a minus 28a, that's 48a. Minus 9b plus 15b, that's plus 6b. These two here will disappear. And I've got minus 879 uh, plus 663, that gives me minus 216. So that then is equation number five. So I'm going to take equation four and five. I'm going to put those two together now and solve for A and B. Okay, so <clears throat> number four was... Um, well, actually, what I'm going to do here is I can see already I've got a plus 6B here. I've got a plus 6B here. So I'm going to take equation number four here and I'm going to multiply it by minus one. So if I take equation number four and multiply by minus one, I'll get minus 24a minus 6b, and that'll give me minus 72. So I'm just going to add these two equations now. So let's see, minus 24 plus 48, well that's 24a. These two disappear. I've got minus 216 minus 72, that's minus 288. And then I'm just going to divide by 24 on both sides, so that gives me A is equal to minus 12. So that's my first solution here, that's what A is, A is minus 12. Now I can take any of these two equations, 4 and 5, stick in A and that should give me B. I'll do that up here, let's take equation 4. 24A plus 6B is equal to 72, so again I'll just identify that, that's equation number 4. I'm going to stick in minus 12, so it's 24 times minus 12 plus 6b is equal to 72. That'll give me, um, let me see, minus, 
Let me just work that out on my calculator here. So it's 24, 24 times 12, minus 288, plus 6b is equal to 72. That'll give me 6b is equal to 360, I think, 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, and 8, 60, yes. So that will give me, finally, then, b is equal to 60. So b is 60. And c, then, I can take any of the first three equations. So I'm going to take equation 1, which is 4a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 807. So this is equation number 1. Just going to stick in a and b, so you got 4 times minus 12 plus 3 times 60 plus 3c is equal to 807. So 4 12 is 48, so that's minus 48 over here plus 3 sixes and then plus 3c is equal to 807. Okay, so that will give me 3c here. Um, that should give me 3c is equal to 675 and finally that'll give me 3c is equal to 675 so c is equal to 225 so there's c there okay now let's just go back and see what they actually asked us to do uh, solve these equations to find the values of a b and c so um, a is equal to minus 12, b is equal to 60, and c is equal to 2, 2, 5. And that's it for this particular question.